Greetings once again, it's Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things. Coming at you again today with another 2004 vintage Warnick MRE meal. Today it's menu 12. Menu 12 features a veggie burger with barbecue sauce, hard candy, fudge brownie, dried cranberries, peanut butter, wheat snack bread, hot sauce, accessory packet C, a spoon, and a flameless ration heater. Accessory packet C features instant tea with sweetener and lemon flavor, salt, chewing gum, matches, toilet paper, and hand cleaner. And here we have the pouch itself. As you can see it's vegetarian meal menu number 12 veggie burger with barbecue sauce by the Warnick Company of McAllen, Texas. U.S. government property, commercial resale and lawful, and all the applicable FRH warnings on the bottom. Flameless ration heaters are prohibited on commercial airlines unless sealed in original menu bag. Typical Warnick pouch, no date coating on the outside. But when we open it up we'll see that it is truly a 2004 vintage. So without further ado, let's get into that. Alright, let's get started. So, supposedly a peelable pouch, but I usually don't have what it takes to open them. Mostly the patience that I don't have. If they don't open right away, I give up on it pretty quick. So, let's Open it with a knife, shall we? Knife works quite well for that. And there we have it. So, what do we have right on top? Cranberries sliced. So this would be the dried cranberries. That ought to be pretty good. Date code on that is 4284, 284th day of 2004, 56 grams weight. Next up we have brownie with chocolate chips. Date code on that is 4307, 307th day of 2004. Here's our MRE spoon. We already have one unwrapped, so I think I'm going to file this one away. I have a possible life hack in mind for these, and I'm going to try that on one of my extra ones. If it works pretty good, we'll demo that for you. Here we have the hard candy. It happens to be charms. These hold up pretty well. Should be enjoyable. Accessory packet C. We'll open that up when the time comes and spread it out. This is the snack bread. That should be pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's two of them. There's another snack bread. How nice is that? Here's a uh, flameless ration heater. And I have another project in mind for these, so I'm not going to use it. Today I'm going to put the entree pouch into a pot of boiling water and boil it. So, on a future video, we'll take a look at what that project might be. And here's the retort pouch itself. Veggie burger and barbecue sauce. 292nd day of 2004. So again, we're looking at pretty close to 13 years old. Veggie burger and barbecue sauce, and once again the same date code 4292, 292nd day, 2004. Vacuum packaging looks to be intact, it's nice and wrinkly there. You can feel that burger patty, there's the outline of it. So I'm going to go pop this into some boiling water and we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes and we'll move on with the other aspects of this meal pouch in the meantime. Alright, let's take a look at the accessory packet, C. So 
There we have the iced tea drink mix. 16 grams net makes six fluid ounces. Moist towelette. Iodized salt. Tabasco sauce. This one is not desiccated like the other one was. I don't tend to use these because I'm not a fan of Tabasco sauce. I'll try it one time, but won't be today. But this one is completely liquid inside. It still retains it still retains some of the red coloration to the sauce itself. Good old matches. These are the white tip style. Good old MRE toilet paper. And while we're discussing MRE toilet paper, I'm going to show you a life hack that I developed for those. Okay, so here we have the Lighthouse MRE toilet tissue. And it's pretty snugly wrapped in there. What I like to do is take one of these Coleman camp soap leaves. I call them sheets. But they come in this little handy package, 50 of them in a pack. And you pop it open, take one out. And that's kind of what they look like. Really thin, kind of like onion skin paper. So, what I like to do is fold one in half, like so and tuck it inside the envelope for the toilet tissue. That way you have some soap to wash your hands with if you feel like doing that after you do your business or after you use the toilet tissue as a napkin or whatever other purpose. There's a means of washing your hands with actual soap. Now you have to have some water around obviously but they don't take very much and they make a pretty good lather. So that's the life hack for the MRE toilet tissue. And then, of course, there's two pieces of gum. This is the white kind. And uh, generally speaking, I've found these to be pretty stable over time. I've uh, chewed them before from these 13-year-old ration packs and found them to be pretty darn fresh. So that's what's in accessory packet C. And there it is all laid out on the tray. Looking pretty good. All right, let's get into it. First up, we're going to take the retort pouch and pop it into some boiling water. And we'll be right back to look at the rest of this. Okay, so first let's do the iced tea. I have no fingernails, so opening these things is a little bit tough. My cat agrees with that assessment. And when I have a canteen cup, we'll put in six ounces of water out of this ice cold water just came out of the refrigerator. And that's about pretty close right there. Give it a little stir. And we'll set this aside. Next up we have the dried cranberries. And there's a bunch of them. Give it a little smell test. Smell okay. A heaping helping right there. Looks pretty good. And here we have brownie with chocolate chips. That should be nice, hopefully. Oh, it's in one piece. I didn't think it would be. Shelf stable. There's an oxygen absorber in there. much in one piece. Oxygen absorber. 
And we have a few pieces there. Take the smell of it. it smells like fudge, kind of like a brownie out of smell. It's crystallized sugar on top. And we'll give that a taste here in a little bit. And wheat snack bread. Again, a shelf stable pack, another oxygen absorber. Smells pretty good. I don't think there'd be any problem with that at all. Now this didn't come with any peanut butter, which is kind of disconcerting. The charms and the chewing gum we will save for later. I'm not going to open the other snack bread because I don't feel like having more than one piece of it anyway. Okay, let's have a taste of the cranberries. Tart and at the same time sweet like you would expect of a cranberry. They taste fine. Fairly fresh. About as fresh as I would expect them to be out of a new package. They taste alright. Wash that down with a little bit of our iced tea mix. The tea tastes uh, just a hint of bitterness. There's some lemon in there and uh, some kind of sweet taste. Not at all unpalatable. I give that one a thumbs up. Raisins a thumbs up. Let's try the brownie. You might be able to see the sparkle of those sugar granules on there. Well that just melts in the mouth and there's a, just an explosion of chocolate flavor. Not at all pasty. It's not overly moist or gooey. All in all, I'd say that's probably the best MRE brownie I've ever tasted. Thumbs up for that as well. Since they didn't see fit to include any peanut butter in this ration, I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter from the shelf on this snack bread. And we'll try one bite with and one bite without. So, here's the without first. hard to describe that texture. It has a very wheaty taste to it. It does taste like wheat bread, but it, the texture is nowhere nowhere close to wheat bread. It's um, much more substantial and it's fairly dry, but not overly so. Not thirst provoking. We'll try the peanut butter side. Well, the peanut butter gives it a nice extra flavor. Still the wheat flavor comes through. The texture is modified somewhat by the moistness or the oiliness of the peanut butter. So I think that's a great addition. I wish they had packed peanut butter in this meal. So I have to give that a thumbs up as well. It's okay. I probably will eat that entire bread. Now it's probably the proper etiquette to save the fudge brownie for dessert, but I think I'm going to try it few more of these ragtag pieces that came off it. That is just plain good. There's no hint of rancidity or staleness in that whatsoever. Yum yum. While we're waiting for our entree to finish boiling, the timer just went off, I went ahead and slathered some orange marmalade from the refrigerator on this wheat, wheat bread. And we're going to give that a try with that and the peanut butter as well. Mm -mm. 
why they didn't see fit to include some kind of spread for that wheat snack bread, I'll never know. But it sure improves the taste of it. It's not that bad by itself, but having something to go on top sure makes it better. Okay, the entree is just about ready to come out of the boiling water. And we have this old school charms packet here. Open it up and get one out of there and try it. First one out of the pack didn't hold up all that well. Looks like it melted. So we'll let that one go. Next one is a green one. It looks pretty good. We'll see how this one is. Not too shabby actually. The flavor is very mild, but it is lime tasting. It's chewable. Once you bite into it, it has a kind of texture like Skittles. If you're familiar with Skittles, how they are if you chew on them. Similar to that. It tastes pretty limey. doesn't taste too bad. So we'll give the charms a thumbs up as well. Here comes the veggie burger and barbecue sauce retort pouch right out of the boiling water. I'm going to give that a few minutes to cool off before I handle it much because it's very hot. So the retort pouch has cooled down some. I think I can handle it now. Notice on the back side that the packaging is crinkly and shrunk down. Anyway, it looks like the vacuum packaging is preserved. I'm going to try to squeeze down any sauce that might be clinging to the upper regions there. And we'll give the Tear line, that's a good start there with a the knife. Oops, I see there's some barbecue sauce coming out. There we go. Boy, it smells like barbecue in there, that's for sure. Take a look in the pouch, you can see the steam coming out of there. That was boiled for close to 20 minutes. <clears throat> With the amount of barbecue sauce in there, it would be hard to taste whether the patty itself, the vegetarian patty, is foul or not. Uh, there was no hiss of any kind when I opened the pouch, except maybe for a little air going in rather than coming out. And that's kind of a good sign. Get some of this sticky barbecue sauce off. Still fresh and moist after 13 years in that accessory packet. might just stuff that back in its little envelope to keep it from drying out all the way because I might need it again before this is over. Just fold that down put it right there. Alright, so there's plenty of barbecue sauce on there as you can see. And spread it around there pretty good. And here's a, here's a little bite of it. It has kind of a meat-like texture appearing. We'll see what the taste is like. Very meat-like texture as well. It tastes like hamburger. It feels like hamburger in the mouth. The barbecue sauce is tangy and smoky and a little bit sweet. Not overpowering. It's not hot. And the patty cuts well with the side of the spoon. Have another sip of our iced tea. Looks like it could use to be mixed up a little bit better.
you didn't see me lick the barbecue sauce remnants off that spoon before I stuck it in there, but believe me, I'm not mixing the two together. Very good. Another bite of this, I think. Here's to your health. That tastes pretty good. I'll give that one a thumbs up as well. I think we'll have another piece of this brownie. And that brownie held up very nicely. It's delicious. There's no nuts in it whatsoever. Alright, well that pretty much does it for this review. Once again this was uh, 2004 Vintage Warnick MRE Menu 12 Veggie Burger with Barbecue Sauce. And inside we had hard candy, the fudge brownie which is excellent, dried cranberries. It says peanut butter but there wasn't any. Wheat snack bread too, and there were two. Hot sauce there was. Accessory packet C was there. Spoon was there. And the FRH was there. We just went through the contents one more time. The trash that I piled up to the side and there was no peanut butter in that packet. So um, could be that it was just accidentally left out of that meal. The menu itself was tasty. Vegetarian meat patty with barbecue sauce was excellent. Cranberries are good. The fudge brownie was beyond delicious. Charms held up fairly well and the wheat snack bread was not spoiled in the least, quite edible. Tasted better with peanut butter on it and I wish that peanut butter had been in the packet. That's all for today. Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things and we'll be back at you with another MRE review before too long. I still have 21 of those in my freezer. Take care. Have a good one. Adios.